here to tell you about the huge piece of machinery behind me. It is, in fact, a very small loom. It's a David Crabtree Axminster a gripper loom made in the 1930s in Bradford in North of England. At the top of the loom, we have the jacquard, which was invented by Henri Jacquard, a Frenchman in the 1800s. This is a jacquard card that has been stamped with holes and blanks. Where there's a blank, it is selecting a color from the colors on the creel at the back. And at the front of the loom, the main part of the loom, is where the weaving actually takes place, where the warp and the weft and the wool and yarn are all woven together to create carpet. The creel, of course, is full of bobbins with different coloured wool wound onto them. Now this loom has been cut down for use in this museum and has only got about 200 of these bobbins on it. A normal loom this size would have about 2,000 bobbins. The gripper on the front of the loom grips the yarn, pulls out enough for the tuft, it's cut off and it's woven into the warp and the weft weaving it together to create the carpet. We're here looking at the three beams at the back of the loom, which are wound with cotton. Cotton is the warp of the carpet, fed in through under tension to the front weaving part of the loom. The woolen yarn the same from the bobbins is fed through this frame onto the front of the loom where the weaving of the carpet will take place. It's the modern era of weaving carpets 